Good morning, guys. It's your girl, Tamika. So, excuse me, I'm looking real crusty right now. Um, I'm just coming off of a lit-ass weekend, and it is Monday morning. I also put these uh, curl formers in my hair, and I could not sleep. So, I had to call out of work today, and I just figured, since I'm calling out from work, why not go chill with one of my best friends, go get some brunch or whatever. So, basically, I just wanted y'all to see me looking real crusty from beginning to end when I'm about to roll out so just like get ready with me for today so I'm not going to talk to y'all too much I don't want the video to be extremely long but just know that I'm extremely tired I'm going to try to cover these bags and my skin looking dull y'all I'm just about to beat my face all right so stay tuned if y'all want to see me beat my face just stay tuned get ready with me y'all all right guys so i'm going in with my fenty foundation i'm just going to slap this all over my face because again my face is so dull and i love this foundation i just used a pump and a half so that kind of was like full coverage but look at it look at it you can't even tell it's just going on so perfect blending right into my skin it looks just like my complexion you gotta use i would recommend using this foundation you want to have a damp beauty blender because um it dries really fast and you just want to make sure you cover all angles fill in some little blanks there any imperfections now i'm gonna go with my nyx full coverage concealer um i'm very self-conscious about my under eyes and the top of my eyes my under eyes have dark circles my top eyes have veins and thin skin so i use a full coverage concealer even though i don't use a full coverage foundation put a little bit of that on my forehead underneath my eyes on top of my lips on my nose a little bit on my cupid's bow then i'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender and go ahead and blend that in I'm going to use it a little bit that had, I'm going to use the side that had a little bit of the foundation on it just to kind of lighten it up and blend it with the foundation just so it can look seamless. Blend, 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 blend. Ladies, if you want to wear makeup, even if you are a beginner like me, the one thing that you want to remember is to blend your makeup in, blend it in. Don't be walking around looking like these aunties out here, man. Like, just slapping the color on and slapping this on. You ain't got contour. I don't contour. I don't do my brows. But one thing I'm going to do is blend that shit together. Now I'm going to set my concealer with some Ben Nye Banana Powder. I use this banana powder because my undertone is kind of yellow. So I feel like this one matches other than all those white finishing powders. Um, this one just looks better on my complexion. So... I like to set my under eye and everything with this Ben Nye. Once I put this on, it looks like a lot, but I'm gonna just use it to bake real quick before I start doing my eyes. So basically just almost everywhere, the concealer touch just go with the Ben Nye powder. Now here is my Huda Beauty desert galaxy i think that's what it called it's called palette i love this palette it's so pretty it's limited edition this is my new brush let me just be the first to tell y'all that when i got my taxes back this year i threw away all my old makeup and i got all brand new makeup all brand new name brand makeup and all brand new brushes so this is actually my first time using all these brand new things so if my makeup don't look so seamless just know it's because it's my first time using my brand new makeup and brand new brushes i gotta get used to both i love both though by no means do i have any complaints i feel like money it's like but i'm gonna go in with those two top left colors over there those are the two i'm going to use on my eyes today the lid crease and brow bone so i'm just going to pat this on and i do like three layers Go in and fill in any blank spots. 
Make sure it looks good before you move to the next eye. Because you want to kind of match them as much as you can. So first start on by patting it on and then kind of like spreading it out. Now, yo, you guys, I'm not a professional makeup artist or I'm not doing a tutorial. This is just how I do my makeup every day. I do this every day now just because I work the afternoon so I have time to just decorate myself and do this every day and I'm enjoying it so just showing y'all what I do you want your chips you can mm -hmm. going in with that second color in my crease just to give my crease some definition to separate my eyelid from my crease. I have a big eye, so it's like I want to give myself some definition, some separation here. Again, blend, 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 blend. Ladies, I can't say the word blend enough. If you want to wear makeup, blend, okay? After you come in with the dark color, you just want to go spice up some more of the lid if you want to to bring out some more of the color that's what I like to do makes it last a little longer and it just makes it pop a little bit not too much now I'm gonna go and do me a tiny little cat eye make a line over top of my eyelash line because um I don't wear lashes I have some pretty decent lashes so I just make the line to kind of bring out make it look a little darker a little more dramatic and i'm going with my mascara that's something i forgot to purchase so this is just some cover girl but i need to get me something fancy any suggestions leave down below as y'all see i have pretty long lashes so I like to use a uh, mascara with a nice fluffy brush so if y'all know any leave it in my comments I want to get me some new mascara soon so right now I'm just doing a coat on the top brushing them down and then I'm going to brush them up so I can get both sides of my lashes and get the most out of them look how long my lashes are I love my natural lashes and my natural brows so I don't do much to those Okay, now, just getting approval from my fiance, probably discussing what we're going to do today. Now I'm going to go in with my finishing powder. I don't contour, but I just like to use this to bring just some darkness, some shade to the face. I'm not on the contouring level yet. I watch some more tutorials and maybe I'll get on that level. Or maybe not, because I don't even need all that for real. So now I'm gonna go in with my NARS Orgasm. This is one of the prettiest colors ever. This blush is so pretty. I can't wait until it finally like cracks. It's so brand new. It's not really coming off on my brush, and my brush is so brand new, so it's not picking up a lot. But once it gets broken into, I can't wait. It's such a pretty color. So right now, I just go over it every day and just try to loosen it up. Now I'm going to go in with my highlighter. Let me tell y'all something. It's never a such thing as too much highlighter. If anybody tells y'all that you're using too much highlighter, just, just don't even talk to that person no more because you don't need that negativity in your life. Highlighter is so beautiful. I want more, 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 and more. That's the Mean Money and Hustler Baby combination. I really like it. It works really well for my skin complexion, for my makeup colors. I like it. Put some on the tip of my nose and my bridge a little bit. 
just for some cuteness, you know, and my cupid's bow. Cupid's bow and bridge and tip of nose is just for cuteness, nothing important. Makes me like a little Tinkerbell or something. Now I'm gonna put them in the middle of my, not the middle, but in my eye duct because, you know, I'm a stoner chick. I'm always looking high. My eyes got this like weird yellowish tinge. So just to make me look awake, alive, make my eyes pop, I always put some highlighter in my tear duct and then under my brow bone because again I don't do my brows so just to make it look like I attempted to just do something to them I just go over them go under them with a little bit of highlighter jazz it up a little bit yeah all right so now I'm just going in with a brown liner just to kind of like bring a little color to my lips the concealer and the highlighter made it look kind of flat so I'm just going to put some liner on because since I'm using a nude lip today I don't want my face to just look blended in so now I'm going to go in with my NYX lip lingerie I love this color it's so nude and pretty it's a little liquidy but you want to make sure you put it on little by little then blend then add a little more as you go don't use too much because this is could be really overpowering like it's really like a matte stain so there you have it. Just put a little bit on, little bit by little bit. Smudge your lips together. And that should be good. Now I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay All Night Long Finishing Spray. This really, after using so much powder products, this really brings the moisture back in. Makes my face look nice and dewy. I love it and it's refreshing too. All right, so guys, I'm about to take these curl forms out of my hair. If y'all have any tips on how to sleep with rollers, flexi rods, curl formers, anything, please let me know because I didn't get any sleep last night. And this first one, as you see, didn't even come out. I had to redo it. I think I went in the shower. I'm not sure. But this one right here is just how it's supposed to come out. This is how it's supposed to come out. Now, wore these overnight. These curls look really good. These are heatless curls. Actually, what I did was shampoo my hair and I blow dried it. And then I put some curling cream, some wrapping lotion, and a little bit of gel to hold it. And I put these curl formers in and I left them in overnight. These curls are nice and bouncy and I'm really in shock on how good most of them came out. I didn't do a tutorial yet on these, or not a tutorial, a video yet on these because I this was only my second time using them and I'm still not professional at using them yet. I still need help when I get to the back. So once I get the real hang of how to do it and you know, when I feel like I should be telling somebody how to do it, then I'll go ahead and do a video on how I did it. Um, but I will show y'all how I did one. It won't be that good because I had to ask my fiance for help because I almost yanked my hair out. With this, you gotta be real careful. And once you get them on, your curls come out perfect. Like, look at these curls. They came out real good. But here, as you see, I yanked my hair too much. I just couldn't get it right. So I had to ask my fiance for some help. He had to be my eyes because I couldn't see back there. But once you see, once you get it on and you just pull it through, it's real easy. I had to leave that one on for like another hour. And then I eventually took it out. But as you see, I took all of them out, got some oil, I'm about to oil my hair, put some oil in it, and then separate them a little bit. My hair is really thin and bushy, so I have to, like, be really careful when I'm taking these curls apart. And then again, like I said, I wasn't really that good at putting them in yet, so a lot of curls came out looking better than the others, but overall, it was pretty good for what it's worth started getting real bored with my hair so I went on and lightened it up and I went on and got some curl formers trying to experiment with all these different ways on how to um, do my hair because I'm getting real bored but as y'all see I'm just going to pick it out to bring some volume to it I'm going to try to do this probably every week when I shampoo my hair but again I cannot sleep with nothing in my hair I'm gonna have to wake up early in the morning and put the curlers in my hair. And maybe I have to get me a sit under the dryer. <sighs> but anyway, that's my hair. 
Okay, so now I'm just going over my edges just to brush them up, just to make my hair look a little neater. Um, a lot of my curls came out looking a little different because, again, this was only my second time using a curl formers, and I do love the way they curl, but I had to get better with the technique, taking them, putting them in and taking them out. So just going to continue to brush up my edges a little bit to make my hair come together and just look neat, finish it up, fluff it out a little bit. Just play with it till it gets to the desired look. I think I like that. So now, I need to go in, give me some little lip gloss, some earrings. Put my earrings on first. And just to add to my look, all ladies should have a nice pair of earrings. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some lip gloss on. I don't want it to be too glossy for the look I'm going for today, so I'm just going to put a little bit on just for moisture. Then I'm going to go with my favorite scent, my Calvin Klein Euphoria. I just love this perfume. I get so many compliments. And there you have it, guys. That is the finished look. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.